Hey everyone, this video is about how Retrotech stands up in 2011. And by Retrotech, I mean the G4 MDD, which I got last Friday and I've been messed about with it ever since. I finally decided I'm going to make it into a music production machine um, with a Pro Tools interface, MIDI keyboard, etc. So, how this stands up to everyday workload. Emails fine, web browsing is fine. It even does YouTube's pretty well. YouTube videos pretty well, up to 40. Uh, it doesn't really like HD unless you let it buffer fully, but it's still a little bit sketchy. Although that's because the graphics card in it is only 64 meg. If you put a 128 megabyte card in there. It'll probably run HD fine. These screens aren't HD either. That's probably part of the problem. I really do like this machine. Mainly because it has expansion slots. Whereas my iMac which is there it has three USBs and I have to have a hub which is sitting down there. Which isn't the greatest but it works. Whereas here, I can put in USB 2.0 cards, I can put in two optical drives, I can put in four hard drives. It's endless possibilities. You can have this configured any way you want. You could even probably put a Blu-ray in there. If you, uh, you get these little adapters that go from, that go from IDE to SATA. If you got some of those, you could easily put a, a Blu-ray in there, a Blu-ray drive. It's still, the case actually still looks pretty modern. I really like it. Although, these handles do look quite retro, but I love retro. Retro's cool. Anyway, back onto the performance of the machine. This is a dual... 1.25 GHz G4 processor um, a gig of RAM 40 gigabyte hard drive ATI Radeon 9064 meg card and running that display we have an ATI Rage 128 16 meg card just till I get a card that can run both of them I actually overclocked the 9000 and killed it. It works, but when it heats up you get the the green fuzzy artifacts all over the screen and then it crashes the computer. Yeah, I know, I was, I was being an idiot. But you learn from your mistakes. This should have a super drive in it, although it only has a it only has a CD drive. You can't really tell from there, but but I've been using the external one, which is under here, under camera. It works fine, although you only get USB 1 speeds. It'll work until I get a proper one. I also took out the, the second hard drive caddy and cable, just to give it a little bit more airflow while I'm not using them drives. Well, I don't have anything to put in them, so it's just restricting airflow, airflow just now. I still haven't got batteries for this yet, so it's still sick. The dodgy mouse that opens the CD drive when it boots. The onboard sound isn't the greatest. There it is there. A little, tiny little speaker. It's fine, it's loud enough. It's a little bit tinny. But it does. it's better than nothing. This model that I have here was the first model that Apple released of the mirror drive doors and it runs fine it actually runs pretty cool I think it has had the cooling kit because it doesn't have a Delta fan it has a PAPS fan and a 360 watt power supply instead of the 400 watt one although it is still pretty loud hopefully 
Hopefully I'll get water cooling for it pretty soon because I want to try and overclock the processors to whatever it'll let me. This has the copper heat sink off the dual 1.42 gigahertz, the fastest model, and it keeps the temps down quite a lot. I get about 50 degrees under load, and that's as high as it'll go. It won't go any higher. As you can hear, the hard drive probably. That needs to be replaced. As you can see, the fresh install of Leopard, I haven't really done anything to it. The dual screens, I don't know how anybody can live without dual screens actually. I know I will never be going back to a single screen, except from when I'm at college on my laptop, on my MacBook. But I can't really do anything about that, I'm not going to carry an extra screen about with me. Just all the normal stuff that comes with Leopard in the dock. I do have older programs on my iMac, which I'm going to transfer across. But I had once, but after I like kind of killed the graphics card, I haven't really been using it that much because it's been freezing up, locking up video, not like browser video the small but when you put it in a full screen it starts to lock up and it ends up killing the computer there's actually a question I've got for anybody that's got one of these how many temperature sensors do you get some people well I was reading and some people said that they couldn't get any temperature sensors under Leopard and they could only get them under Tiger. Well, I installed Tiger, uh, and I'm only getting two, two temperature sensors. The same as Leopard. I get hard drive and CPU. Does anybody know if you can get other sensors, or is it only two? Because I, I'd prefer to know the temperatures of my graphics cards and stuff. I'm not too worried about, say, the CD drive, DVD drive bay and stuff like that, but just the main components. If anybody could help me out with that, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, if you're planning on running one of these older systems, just keep, try to keep your software from around the time that it was released and you should have a pretty good workhorse for another a few years anyway I plan on using this just purely for messing about with music production not saying I'll be any good at it but it'll be pretty fun maybe even try and make an intro song to some of my videos should be pretty fun this will be the last MDD video that I make until I get some upgrades for it, which will probably be middle of summer, June, July, maybe. Just have to wait and see. But yeah, it does run fine. Except, well, it ran fine until I killed the graphics card. It still looks nice. I actually have had an idea, because I've got it sitting on this cut down TV stand thing. I actually want to get like another tower, like a broken one, and make like a desk out of it. Well not a desk, but like a TV stand. Just get another four of these, because the bottom ones are got like a flat edge on them. Put them on the top, and get a bit of like 6 or 10 mil sheet of glass, get it cut and put it on. I think it'd look pretty nice. But that I'll just have to wait and see. I'll have to see prices and stuff. I think it'd look pretty cool, although I'd have to get a new case for this. See all the, the scuffs. There's a scuff there. There's 
it has been used, put it that way. But it's like nine year old, what do you expect? I think that's about it. If you have any questions, just ask and I'll try and help you out. Thanks for watching.